Hey there, fellows. All right. This episode is going to be a really fun one. Now, in the past, we've used items such as iPhones as brake system components. We've done ceramic brakes. And this right here is porcelain tile. So I've got me some nice porcelain tile. And it's quite a tough material that's hard to break. And so a thought occurred to us. Why not use this wonderful material to make us some porcelain brake pads? And of course, try them out. See how well they work. We've got this lovely car at our disposal, for which we can make a set of front brake pads out of porcelain tile. We decided to use a front-wheel drive car for this one. Because with the transmission in gear, it'll allow us to press the gas and brake pedals simultaneously and see what happens. Are the pads gonna turn into dust? Or perhaps nothing will happen at all? We'll find out in just a bit. But in the meantime, let's grab this wonderful tile and make us some brake pads. Let's get stuck right into it. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellows, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Porcelain tile brake pads, will they work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, guys, so far we're looking pretty good. These are the porcelain tile brake pads, which are a precise match. Well, we did use the stock pads as a template, so... Now, they might turn out to be a tad too thick, but then the rotors have seen some mileage. They are far from new. And so I think they're gonna be a decent enough fit. You probably noticed that the rotors are about as wide as a couple of matches. As for the glue, we have this, and also this, which is an epoxy glue. We'll be installing pads glued together with either type on different sides of the car. So we're also gonna find out which of these glues gives you better adhesion. It's gonna take 24 hours for either to fully dry, so yum. Let's glue everything together, leave the pads to cure, then fit them to a car and do some testing. Night, let's carry on. So these pads have been here for... The instructions say that it takes 24 hours for the glue to fully dry, but in reality, these have been here for a good three days. So the glue just has to be dry by now. Now we just need to fit them to the car. We doing this? It's time to install and test these. All right, it's time to start testing these porcelain tile brake pads. I'm gonna start by setting off slowly to see whether they do anything at all. 
Ну-ка. They're doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I should have pumped the pedal first. Okay. That could have ended badly out on the street. Wow, the brake pedal has become all mushy. But the brakes do seem to work. And we're off. Oh man, what an awful noise. But the brakes do work, and quite well at that. Nice. The screeching noise is pretty nasty. And it doesn't go away when I take my foot off the brake. Not bad. These are genuinely not bad. We're looking good. Nice. Very good. Awesome. Though I do suspect the rotors aren't gonna last long. You can hear the pads grinding away at the rotors. And it is a very unpleasant noise. You're not supposed to hear these sorts of sounds on a car with stock brakes. If you do, it means the pads are completely worn. Wow, these work nicely when you apply full force. Sweet. These are all right. I like them. These brakes bite pretty hard. Look, the car stops on a dime. Awesome. Good, they seem to be holding up. After that rather short drive, you see that? Look. It's as if the rotor has been resurfaced. It's nice and smooth. You can really see how the porcelain tile pads we made were biting into the metal. We can see some well-defined grooves. But we are not ready to quit just yet. Let's go ahead and start the car. These pads were glued together with epoxy, while on the other side it's crazy glue. Okay, fire it up and let's see what happens. Someone's pedal happy. Wait, which side is gonna start rotating? Sure, it'll become obvious. Oh my god, that noise! That was very unpleasant. Man, the porcelain really bites into the metal. They haven't even... Oops, spoke too soon, they have actually gotten warm. And it's quite obvious how rapidly the rotors are disintegrating. Look at those scratches. Wanna keep going? Get up to a higher speed, perhaps? I see sparks. Stop! Stop! Let's make this a tad more spectacular. Turn off the lights. Not enough power? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Well, yeah, the box popped out of gear.
Now something is definitely wrong. Turn the lights on, please. Wow, it is giving off a lot of heat. Well, the rotor is red. Dude, what have you done to the pads? They've crumbled to pieces. They're rooted. Why'd you have to break the pads? Our new porcelain pads. You hooligan. I guess we wait for the rotor to cool down. It literally got red hot. 200... 200 degrees Celsius. You just had to break the pads, Sergei. Let's pull them out. So one of the pads is completely thrashed like... It crumbled to bits. The other one... We need to remove it if we want to see anything. For now, let's check on the other side. And on the other side, it's the same picture. All that's left of the inner part is crumbs. Let me just carefully extract it. And what do we see? The brakes were being worn down so fast that, I mean, look, you've literally got metal infused into the pads. And the pads themselves were rapidly disintegrating. It was really eating into the metal being such a tough material. Yeah, these rotors took a severe beating, didn't they? Let go. And it's the same thing here, look. There's metal from the rotor, and the pad itself has crumbled. The epoxy glue held up well, though. Yeah, it's keeping it together well indeed. But the pads are boned. Now I'm gonna go remove the pads on that side. Same thing. This one is just crumbs. The porcelain has completely fallen apart. Wow, that's hot. What about that one? Let me extract it. Mm, this one is alright. It's barely even cracked. But look at the metal particulates. That is quite some wear, holy cow. They were biting the metal hard. At least out on the street they were doing a decent job. Though they did meet a gruesome end in here. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't drive on such pads. We've established that brake pads made out of porcelain tile leave a lot to be desired. They broke up and crumbled to tiny bits. Not to mention they severely wore down the rotors. So yeah, you do not want to drive around on this sort of pad. You know how they sometimes ask you at the parts store whether you want softer or harder pads? Supposedly, if you opt for a harder compound, that's gonna result in way more rapid brake rotor wear. Personally, I think it's baloney. I mean, soft, hard, they all work well. The way I see it, the only meaningful difference is in how fast the rotors and the pads wear out, which really makes this a matter of personal preference. In any case, these porcelain pads did not hold up. Didn't take long for them to heat up, though. Out on the street, the brakes worked quite effectively. But once we put a bit of extra load on these, they crumbled to bits, they did. So yeah, using tile to make brake pads is not advisable. Eh, whatever. You saw it all for yourselves. These didn't work, and that's all I got for you. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.